so what up guys make sure we drive tech back again with another video for you guys and today i'm shooting on the gopro hero 8 so i haven't upgraded to the hero 9 yet but i'm looking forward to get the hero 9 soon by the way today's video is about a revisit of the startron mega the star wheel startron mega because i know i haven't done like much content about it except for the review so now i've already had it for a year plus i really wanted to wait because I didn't know how reliable these scooters were, especially in the maintenance side, how much would it cost to actually replace the, the wear and tear parts. So today's video is going to be talking about all of that. So before I begin this video, do consider subscribing to this channel for more content just like this and also ding the notification bell so you can get notified on the latest content which I post. So without further ado, let's get into the long term review of the Startron Mega. Alright guys, so we are back and it's really really hot today, so I'm under the shade. Yeah, so talking about the Startron Mega is that now after only for one year, and of course if you talk about how much did I use it, yes I did use it for a bit. Of course it's been sitting there for a couple of months because of MCO, but uh, I've started riding it again. And of course I just got back my Demon which I'll be covering in the next video, I've actually did some upgrades to it. But anyways, we are here to talk about the Startron Mega, because I think many people are curious to know how much would it cost to own a Startron Mega, how much really cost for the maintenance and uh, some people are pretty worried because you know this is um, sort of a pretty new startup and the cost of this is almost the cost of a motorcycle and many people might think that uh, might as well I get a motorcycle why would I get a scooter instead of a motorcycle but here are the benefits number one no road tax no license no insurance at the moment of course there will be future plans for that you know the usuals from our Malaysian government but for now you don't have to spend on anything except for the cost of the scooter and also some basic maintenance and basically the skill to ride it so that's about it it's very simple and easy to get one of these okay so after one year things that i do like about it is the maintenance is really really low okay you look at my tires for example you can see these tires right here the tires that i talk about and the tires that i love a lot you can see the tread is still pretty good on them after one year of course i did ride it quite a lot and you know when i ride it i'm a pretty aggressive rider uh, i gotta admit that uh, and you know if i'm if you're a pretty aggressive rider the tires tend to wear out pretty fast especially with the brakes but i've not even changed my tires at all you can see the tires right here still looking good really really good in fact and the brake pads i haven't even changed the brake pads yet so the brake pads all they need is a little adjustment once in a while because you know the brake pads do wear out after time uh, just a little adjustment and basically everything works out fine so i've just adjusted it myself you can adjust it right here at this uh, screw right here so it's similar to um should say a bicycle brake because this is a hydraulic brake system and the grip on these brakes are really awesome trust me when i say that because I've, i usually ride at really fast speeds as you can see in my test footage you know i really do put the scooter to its limits so the things i like about this is also the handling so if you are thinking of uh, mushy suspension no this is definitely not the case for the startron mega because uh, is a tried and tested design this really is really really solid in my opinion i really do love it another thing i like about this scooter is that the speed is just nice it's just nice uh, i mean i've actually achieved the top speed around 80 ish kilometers per hour and uh in fact i think that's enough for a scooter and of course you still need to wear the right gear you need to get a helmet you need to get guards and stuff like that but 80 kilometers is just nice the demon is stretching a bit because it's above 100 kilometers per hour but overall i think this is a good scooter to cruise because there's also eco mode there's a uh, turbo mode everything works the electronics are doing really really good power wise coming from the demon and riding this after a while i don't feel the lack of speed the lack of power the lack of torque in fact i think overall it's a very balanced scooter okay now coming to the things which i don't like starting with the display so you know this controller is the previous version of course i did get a screen replacement because this version came with the colored display sort of a colored display but i've actually changed it out so it's actually now sort of a liquid crystal display so it's a basic display like something like calculator display i should say so it has worked out fine i got a free replacement from star wheel so thanks a lot to them for a very good customer service uh, and backup support as well uh, i've only sent this uh, i think once or twice for basically maintenance i should say not many really maintenance but just uh, doing some checks on the brakes the handlebar and so on and so forth okay coming to the handlebar is another thing which i don't like this handlebar here is uh, not the sturdiest at all because you can see this actually wiggles something which i don't like when riding at fast speeds because i feel like i'm going to break this handle and fall off the scooter 
but uh, so far it has been okay I do like the new designs of the Startron Demon and the Mini X because those I feel are more sturdy but of course at the cost of not being able to be adjusted this is still adjustable similar to the Demon which I currently use the V1 uh, other than that I think another thing which I don't like is that the front suspension yes the suspension wise I did praise it but I feel there's no play with these suspensions or it looks like it's going to work but in fact in real life with my weight I'm about 96 to 97 kg this basically goes all the way down and it doesn't work so it's basically like no suspension at all but at the cost of very good handling so I think it's a trade-off it's a good trade-off for me because I ride fast and take fast corners so I think this suspension works out I'm not going to complain about it but if you're looking for more comfortable suspension get the Mini X or get the Startron Demon but this is really good for sharp corners and also riding in general but comfort wise yes there's some sacrifices uh yes this bag mud flat yes something i really do not like you can see this actually wiggles after a year of use in fact there's a small crack there uh, something which i do not like in terms of longevity yes you have to probably remove this i would probably remove this in fact i will reposition the brake light somewhere else or maybe do some led brake light somewhere will be drill hole or something something like that but uh, overall I think the mud flap is a no-go for me but it works screw it back and it's fine for a while but then it gets loose again so anyways the mud flap is something that I don't really like because it's mounted on the suspension and it vibrates a lot you know Malaysian roads really bumpy okay another thing which I don't like is the rear suspension here and here yes it looks good it looks nice it looks adjustable yes it's adjustable but uh, in terms of right, it squeaks a lot because you know as the dirt from the road, the sand gets into the absorbers, yes they tend to squeak so a spray of WD-40 definitely helps for a bit, it, after a while you know the sound still comes back so you have to do it pretty frequently, I've uh, actually oiled both the front and the rear but it still squeaks, I mean the, on the way riding here, yeah it started squeaking again, that happens but uh, and no solution to that so if you do not like the squeaking definitely no the suspension probably you need to change it out or something I'm not sure probably they have a solution to it overall I think the scooter is a very nice scooter um, after one year of owning it I do not have any complaints except for the small minor stuff but of course those you have workarounds you can find workarounds for those so you do not have to worry but overall this scooter is a very good scooter and I definitely can recommend it after one year battery BMS which is the battery management system no problems at all the locking mechanism everything it works well no loose screws nothing so everything works well quality wise I'll give it a A star in terms of build the design yeah I definitely need some tweaks this is a very old model now and I think it's time for an upgrade for the Mega series so Star Wheels if you're listening it's time to make this Mega even better with some fine tweaks here and there with the suspension the rear mud flap and uh, overall the handlebar as well and that's all for this video guys I hope you guys liked it this is, has been a one year review of the Startron Mega satisfied customer here and I think I'll be covering more on this scooter if I do some upgrades especially to the rear mud flap and so on and so forth so that's all for this video hope you guys like it and I'll see you guys in the next video